Ryan, we're so happy right yeah. now. We're happy to be sitting with you. We're happy to be in your aura. <laughs> um, we just went through that piece, and we yeah. talked about all these stars who you write for, to Beyonce, Adele, Sir Paul McCartney. So, like, how does that thing work? Do you write a song and go, this, is, this has got Beyonce's name on it, or do they uh, knock on your door? Yes, it's both. So yeah. sometimes, like with Beyonce, uh, she'll bring you in, play you stuff, get you inspired, and then you'll go do your thing or take a song she already has that's not finished and finish it. Uh, for McCartney, you're, you're with him. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. But for I Sir know, Paul, I'm like, yeah. for Beyonce, Sir Paul, McCartney, you know. Yeah. Uh, for Sir Paul, you're with him. You're starting something from the ground up. Thomas Rhett, you're in the room, ground up. Jonas Brothers, you're either with one or a couple of them, or like with Sucker, I had already done it, and I just kind of walked in. I was like, you know what? I think you guys would sound better on this than me. How do you decide whether to, yeah. to keep one or yeah. whether to, to give one? Or not give them. Um, I assume you're selling. It's you know, like having children and yes. giving them away. Yeah. It, you know, it kind of is. <laughs> it's two different hats. When you're an artist, uh, you always have to be kind of looking and trolling for your own stuff. So I will keep stuff if it feels like One Republic. But with One Republic music, it's always, it's the hardest, we're the hardest to have hits with because the lyrics have to be so specific yeah. for people to believe it coming from me. Yeah. Uh -huh. But like with, with Sucker, for example, if I'm, I love singing it. We cover that song now, but like us doing Sucker doesn't resonate the same way as it does Jonas uh -huh. It's really subtle. You have yeah. to just feel it out. You have to be a genius, which you are. Um, your war stories are not like our war stories. <laughs> we were, you were telling our producers some funny stuff about working with Bono yeah. and yes. then the Pope calling. <laughs> what yeah. happened? Um, that was amazing. Uh, so it was my second day working with you two here in New York at Electric Lady, where a lot of famous albums have been made. I'm sitting, the Edge is sitting here on, on his laptop, <laughs> just playing different ideas. Bono's sitting like across from me, and then we're going over this lyric yeah. that we're doing together, and knock, knock, knock. And then Bono's like, who is it? And he's like, Bono, you should, we have a phone call you could take. He's like, and he goes, hey, tell him I'll call him back. Yeah. Tell him I'll call him back. All right, let's go, let's go. And he leans back over and says, like, all right, so I'm thinking the sentence, the, the, next, the next phrase should be something like, duck, 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 door opens. Yeah. Bono, I think you really should take this call. <laughs> yeah. This is my bad Irish accent. Yeah, it's good. And he goes, well, well for sake, <laughs> who is it? And she goes, the Pope. <laughs> And and he no. and you've met Bono before. Yeah. Okay, so then you understand this. He turns around. He turns around. There's the camera. All right. So he turns around and he goes, lifts his, takes his glasses down and goes, duty calls. <laughs> Stands up, walks up. And the edge You're doesn't skip a beat. The edge is just going, okay. Well, I'm thinking. I go, edge. Did that? Did you see? <laughs> you that? Know what just happened? Yeah. It, it was a call from the That's one of like five stories. You need to write a book. Yes. When are you going to yeah. write your I'm, book? I missed an Obama hang with him. Yeah. What? Uh, I got woke up to a text for, that he had sent me at like 12 p.m. one night. Who, Bono did? Bono sent yeah. a text at midnight. This is when we were in the middle of working on his album in, yeah. in L.A. Yeah. And, and apparently he had a hang until like 3 in the morning with, at, uh. with Obama. And the next morning he goes, man, you really missed a rough one. That was a rough night. Uh, uh, uh. We stayed up listening to music, drinking bourbon. I mean, it was like wow. the craziest thing. I, I just missed the text. All right, we love you.